Hi there guys, welcome back to the channel. Thanks very much for joining us again today. I've got a very short video tutorial for you today that will show you how to build a portfolio website in under 15 minutes. So it's actually going to take us, as you can see by the length of the video, a little bit less than that. And the platform that we're going to be utilizing to do so is called Wix. So uh, Wix is you'll have access to for absolutely free via a link just down below in the description for this video. So once you've watched the video uh, in under 15 minutes, you can be on Wix, giving it a go for yourself by just clicking that link down below. And um, it's a template based website builder, but it also allows you to build websites from scratch and a whole host of things. Very extensive platforms, uh, a platform and it offers a whole host of, of options you know for free and then it has paid schemes and um, paid monthly schemes in there as well for e-commerce and sort of basic sites as well so it's very well known as it's been around a very long time it was one of the first kind of browser-based website builders so it's very well developed and evolved as you can see i've made a couple of sites in there i'm the owner of a few sites that um i've got on premium packages at the moment um, so you may not have a dashboard which looks like mine, but you can join Wix for free using an email or a, a Google account. And once you're in there, you'll probably be launched straight into a wizard, which you'll see in a second. If you're not, you'll need to go to create new site, which is here. And it's also accessible via this little drop down in the top left hand corner. So if I go there, you can see create new site is there. So, you know, it allows you to design a website using this wizard. So this is probably what you'll see when you first log in as a new user and you get to choose a category. Obviously we're going to go for a portfolio site today and um, that's there handily as a, as a suggestion for us. You can specify what type of portfolio. So I'm going to go um, creative and uh, hit next. Obviously, you know, if you want to negate this process and skip it, the button to do so is in the bottom right as well. Uh, you can give it a name at this stage as well. Um, I'm just going to use this for the tutorial. You can change it, as it says, at any time, as well as all of the options that we go through in this initial process. You can kind of delete things, you know, all the, th the choices that we make at this stage are, you know, we can change them. Nothing's finite. You know, it's going to ask you here now what you want on your website in terms of features. Obviously, like I said, you can delete these. If you decide that you don't want them, you can add them after the fact, as well as a whole host of other things. Um, I'm just going to leave it at that for now because I've chosen portfolio. You know, I'm not going to need any of these other things just for now. But if you do want them, you can just tick them and then click next. I'm going to keep it simple just for today. Now, I highly recommend utilizing a template when you're making a portfolio. Um, if you want to start from scratch, completely fine. You know, you can go straight to the dashboard, get a custom built one whatever you want, but I'm going to go with the template option for today because I think that's the quickest and most efficient way of getting a portfolio made. And that's probably what you want if you want to see it in less than 15 minutes. Um, so as you can see, there's 21 pages of creative portfolio templates. So take your time and browse them. There'll be something in here that closest resembles what you want or what you need, and then you can just quickly retrofit it to, to be yours. Um, so that's the idea behind the system. And it's, like I said, very quick, very efficient. So obviously, you know, you've got different categories that you can choose from and sort of narrow down your search options. You can also use the text search to kind of search for specific types of portfolios, photographer or whatever you're looking to advertise yourself as. And then you can see there's like a huge range of templates here. They all look, you know, significantly different. Even... If it's not, you know, the, obviously you're going to change the images. You're not going to have images of someone else in your portfolio or someone else's work. So you're going to be looking primarily at layout, font, and kind of design. You know, so pick something that, like I said, you know, you could quickly, you know, even if you don't like the font in this one with the fish, I'll, I'll choose that one as an example. Hit view on it uh, to preview it. Even if you don't like the font for whatever reason but you like the background and the fact that it's got this tiled Instagram thing in the middle and that's perfect to show your work and your pictures, great. So edit this site. And then as you can see very, very quickly, you can retrofit this to you know suit your needs. So text is exactly like it is in something like Word or whatever word processing package that you've used in the past. You know, it's very simple. You can just single click it or double click it, sorry, and that'll allow you to edit it. 
so you can see that you know I'll just type whatever I want in there and then this little dialog box comes up and it's got all the controls of a word processing package that you'd expect so remember that you've got to have stuff selected for the changes to take effect uh, you can see that uh, the font size is there you can change the font itself you can choose from different presets there uh, so I'll just change that as an example for you change the color of the text there and you know each um, template that you choose in Wix will have a set color theme so you can see what this one's color theme is right here that theme is changeable and that is all done through that little tool there the letter a with a paint drip next to it so you know like I was saying you can choose from whatever color you can add a color to that theme as well um, and kind of use it for other elements on the website very efficient way of utilizing color if you've got nothing to do with fish for example <clears throat> and you want to get rid of that that's fine but because it's placed there and it's kind of you know got a space to exist you can also change it you know so you could browse the extensive library of images that wix has got built into it or you could upload your own so you can see that if i go to media from wix it's got a you know th literally thousands of stock images that you can use for completely free as well so um I'd imagine that we'd struggle to find a nicely shaped cut out fish like there was there but there's a whole host of stuff in here okay so let's have a look if we wanted to re replace it with a different kind of fish uh, and you can see that I'm getting mostly food options I would have preferred an uncooked fish that one will do he's been oh, I'll go for them down there then so single click and then hit choose that image and you can see then that it kind of replaces that image in the same shape and size so you know it doesn't make you resize it and you know re you know obviously that's a kind of crude example there but if you had images prepared for your website that were pre-cut out and you had that in mind then that's how easy it is to kind of replace these then are built into a gallery so it would be a little bit different you'd need to go into the gallery settings so each element is kind of treated differently in wix you can see that you know when you select something a little menu pops up to the top left and that's the kind of settings for that element so this one happens to be a gallery uh, of images and you can see there that you've got basic controls over the kind of layout and the settings design of it so it's very easy to customize it to look you know exactly how you want you could add titles and you know each image will have a, a title so if I go to manage media here you can see that those are the images that are currently in the gallery and you can add a link when the image is clicked if you want to do so as well as a title there and you can set then in the uh, options for that gallery to display titles or you know when that a user hovers over them or uh, and always remember to preview your site so you can experience it like the end user will because you can see that it's got these kind of alternate titles that appear when you hover over one of the images so obviously if you didn't want that and you could sort of remove that and you know it's very easy to do that you know as opposed to starting from scratch you know it's, it's much more efficient use of your time okay so remember then that that would be you know the home page by default it's looking a bit crude at the moment and to manage the pages of your site it's this little button here the page button um, and you can see that you know there's not many pages in there at the moment so you give them a single click and that takes you to that page so you can edit it and kind of replace the content if you then decide that you want to have like a temporary landing page or direct users elsewhere other than the home page that is set by default if you want to make that your gallery and just make a, a really simple title home page then to assign a page as the home page of your site hit those three little dots there and then that will allow you to set it as a home page so obviously that's the home page that i've got at the moment so you can see that i could replace it very quickly there as well um make use of headers and footers would be my recommendation to give your site a little bit more of a consistent look um so you can see that every page then would have this kind of header at the top of it um, and also make use of sections even as you can see that you know this dark section here it wouldn't immediately fit with the theme of this site but if that's what you're looking for and you want text you know large and small text and a little block like that then great it's easier to get that in and then change the strip background very quickly or the column background um you know 
just as, a, as an example for you, like that. And you could also do the same then on this side to white. And you can see that, you know, me doing that took seconds as opposed, you know, obviously you're going to have to change the text to black now as well, um, you know, to kind of oppose that. So as opposed to kind of, you know, setting that up from scratch, make use of the formatting that they've got there, you know, so, um, but just kind of swap things around and, and change colors and, you know, retrofit template things to suit your needs. Okay. And you can see that, you know, that's how quick it is and that's how efficient it is to do things like that in Wix. Um, you may want to, as part of your portfolio, um, whether it's in your contacts page or you may want to add a social media page. Okay. So, Though there's extensive tutorials on our channel on how to do so. So there's a Facebook page add-in mechanism to Wix. There's an Instagram feed add-in mechanism. And the majority of those come through the apps on that, that are built into Wix, okay? So or it gives you access for those apps. So if you can't find what you need in the elements, then it's most likely going to have an app that will fix that, you know? pop-up messages are something that people can utilize apps to do as opposed to the Wix built-in um, system. There's also then connections to third parties. So if you've got um, like MailChimp or Calendly or anything like that, that you can offer to your clients to book meetings with you, then you can do so via an app. Okay. So as an example, if I type in Instagram, you can see that there's a few options for, you know, presenting your social media feeds. So if you're a visual artist or, or whatever it is, then you've got social, any kind of person that will have social media stuff. It's probably a good idea to integrate that into your portfolio as well. And that's all primarily done through the apps. Um, the other way that that can sometimes happen is through the embed code option. So quite often, um, as you can see here, you know, you've got presets to kind of link from most of the, the social media sites and streaming sites. Um, but if you've got something specific, it'll usually present itself to you as a piece of HTML code. Um, so that's how you embed it. So you can see that, you know, if I load that up, it just comes up as a little square on the website. It's right there. Um, and that will display like Google ads and Instagram feeds and Facebook ads and things like that. When it, when it gives you a piece of code, you'll just paste the code in there and then it'll appear within that square then. And then it'll kind of format itself to the right size and shape. Uh, so that's how integration for social media and third party plugins will happen. That's quite common for a portfolio site to have them. Um, YouTube links and things like that, as you could see there, very, very simple to integrate things like that. If you go to video, and then it's got a preset for YouTube. So you could drag that in and then you could just go to change video and you know, it, it is simple as pasting the YouTube link in there and your YouTube video will play. So you could very quickly link up your channel or whatever content, if you've got a trailer online or whatever it is. Um, and like I said um, earlier, when I couldn't select it, this little A button here is the access to the site design or the theme of the site. So you can customize that. Um, if I go to colors, those are the colors that will appear when you ha have an object selected. So that will be like the color palette of your website. Okay, so that brings us to 14 minutes and the conclusion of the video tutorial because it's all going to have to happen in under 15, as the title says. So like I said at the beginning, there's a link in the description for the video to a free version of Wix, which you can try now for completely free and put your portfolio together. If you enjoyed the video and you like more content of that nature, give us a like and subscribe to the channel. And if you've got any questions or suggestions for future videos, leave them as comments down below. And as promised, 1430, thank you very much.